Well, now to America Votes 2024, and voting is finally underway for New Yorkers in the presidential primaries. Early voting, as you probably heard, started statewide this past Saturday. Now, this is only for people who are registered Republicans or Democrats. Times and locations vary depending on the day and where you live. Many of our counties only have a couple of spots where you can go vote early. Chautauqua and Niagara counties have four each. And then in Erie County, there are actually 38 sites and you can vote at any of them, not just the one in your municipality or your neighborhood. In Erie County, more than 700 Democrats and 400 Republicans have already cast ballots. This is for Saturday and Sunday. Early voting continues in Erie County until 9 o'clock tonight. And to help you get ready in case you're heading out, we have a look at the ballots. Now this will also vary depending on your county. And for Democrats, you can see it's Joe Biden, Marianne Williamson, and Dean Phillips on the ballot. There are a couple of variations in Erie County because Democrats also pick delegates to the party convention based on congressional districts. So that's why we're showing you two sample ballots there. Meanwhile, this is what it looks like if you're a Republican. There are four names on the GOP ballot, even though Vivek Ramaswamy, Chris Christie, and Nikki Haley have of course all dropped out of the race. As early voting continues, remember it ends this coming Saturday, then the actual election day for the presidential primary is April 2nd. All right, with all that in mind, of course, the elephant and the donkey in the room is that these races are pretty much already over. Both President Biden and former President Trump have already locked up enough delegates to win their party's nominations. So your vote is not really going to matter much. And come November, nobody really expects New York to be much of a battleground state. What does matter, though, is money. So we're digging into that tonight, and we have some data specifically for Western New York. We'll get to the local fundraising. First, this is the big picture. Brand new federal filings show President Biden has raised nearly $113 million with a whopping $71 million cash on hand. Former President Trump has raised $96 million, but has about half the cash on hand as Biden. And recent fundraising is a concern for Republicans. Biden raised 21 million last month compared to 11 million for Trump. Trump is also spending a lot more, most of it on paying attorneys. Biden is able to spend millions and millions of dollars on TV, online advertising. Most of Donald Trump's money that's coming into his campaign is going toward those legal fees at this point. And for months and months, the conversation has always been all of Trump's legal um, the charges, the indictments, time in court, that hasn't impacted poll numbers, but polls that have come out in just the last seven days are starting to show a shifting narrative. Right now, the real clear politics average of national polls in a two-way race has former President Trump with a 1.7 point advantage. Most of these surveys are within the margin of error. With those national numbers in mind, no surprise here, Biden has a big money lead in New York State. He's brought in nearly $8 million here. That's compared to about $3 million for former President Trump. But if you zoom into Western New York, it's actually a very different story. We went through all of the campaign donations and we sorted them by zip code. In our eight counties, there have been just under 900 contributions to Joe Biden. Donald Trump has gotten six times that, nearly 5,400 separate donations. If you add up all the cash, you can see Trump has brought in about $193,000 in Western New York. Biden has raised nearly $122,000. The candidates will have to file their next quarterly reports on all the money they've raised and spent by tax day, April 15th.